a plot to Wrecking Ball main. People say that Wrecking Ball is OP this season, so let's see him in action. You have one of the best comps in the game. I don't like the Ash and the Hilari. I would prefer a Tracer and a Kiriko or Brick, but that's fine. Going through main. Here, what I like to do, I don't see many Wrecking Ball mains do this. I always go through the right side. Because they can't see you. Going through main and they see a ball, then they can get ready. So I, what I do is I like to go through the right side. I go all the way here, they don't see you. And then here, I actually wall jump. And then I surf this roof. And then suddenly, I just slam all of them here. And they don't expect it. And it's like a rollout that you can use to just win one fight, the first fight. It's crazy good. Use it. That is not bad either. I think the Zarya eat your E, by the way. You need to be careful. Ready. See, look. You only got one shield. <laughs> Why did you only got one shield, right? Because of the bubble. She's gonna bubble. I think? Hey, what? Is it a bug? Did you eat too early? Oh no, you eat all the way back. Okay. Yeah, you eat too early. Why do you, you should have eat here. You've got a way more HP. Okay, you're going in. You're eating them. I like how you backed up right away so you don't take that much damage. Whee! Nice roll. Okay, nice little combo. Good, very good, like, um, focus there. The E is not that great either, only 100. You gotta work on your E's, man. Make sure you get like a thousand HP at least per E a lot of times you can do it. Especially when you're playing like all together. Nice little spin. They don't have that much damage, right? They don't have Zen. They're playing Kirikoana, they can sweep you. It's nice for Wrecking Ball, I didn't know, in this map, the fact that you have this extra eye on this building. It's good for Wrecking Ball. Yeah, you overstayed, this is a mistake. But this is the first time where you lose a lot of HP. Right? I think you wanted to punish the Zarya, but you can see how charged she is by the glow. See the glow, it's kind of glowing. She's not full charge, but she has like 50% charge. 78, even more, see? So she, at this charge, you cannot one verse on her. You cannot like stay in front of her, so this is a feed. You want to avoid those. You force TP here, I would have chosen, see, like, right here? I would have went for her, because she has no TP. But it, you tried to peel for the Zen, she's not bad. And then you eat too late to death. I haven't seen you using a GD yet. But this is the kind of engage you want to avoid, right? The engage is where you lose all your HP. Because look how long you need to stay AFK now. Scouting. The first time I see you scout. That's pretty good. Very good engage. This was perfection. See, like, you scout. You went in. You used your E well. And you slammed. That's it. This was a very good engage. Look how much HP you have. This is what, this is what you need to do every time. This kind of engages. This is the first good engage, good E, good scout. This is what you should be looking at. Nice dodge on the slip. Oh! 
Good mines on point two. Good minefield. That was good, that was good. I think you face tanking too much again. You can try to book them. Nice spin. I I definitely believe your your target priority could have been better. Do you see how you went on Zori instead of the Kiriko first? Okay, I would have engaged on the stairs. They might they might cap. <laughs> Okay, you did cap so. Okay, you double booked her. Decent T. Okay, decent engage. Could have been better, but decent. Okay, I say you're rolling. Good uh, use of the pylon. Good slam is one. Perfect. Grab the Maka. Again, the E wasn't great, but I like the tech off the edge there. I think you're trying to grapple here. And then go to the stairs with the grapple and speed up. I think that's what you're trying, but you failed. And you failed because... The grapple was too to the right side. If you want to go through the stairs with the grapple on, you can always grapple really close. Instead of grapple all the way here, because if you grapple all the way here, you're probably not going to have life or leth or whatever it's called. Like enough space from here to there to get into the corner to go up the stairs. So you can always grapple on the floor. The closer you are to the stairs, the more likely you'll be able to. Because the grapple cannot grow as a limit when it comes to grow, but you can get closer with it. So that means that grappling all the way here, you're not going to be able to go to the stairs, but grapple closer, you'll be able to. So she used nade, she's discord and next she should be dying, nice. I don't think you needed to ease her either, but it's fine, you didn't give any ulti charge at least. I like that you're getting high ground. Damn, your team is popping off. I don't know if you noticed, that was a Reaper on your team, but... Okay, scouting. It's not bad, I think it was a little bit off-tempo. When you see a Zarya like this... Do you know how against Ana... Do you know how against Ana, you, you, like, you shoot her a little bit and you force to sleep? You can do the same with bubbles. The minefield is not terrible, but look where your team is, right? I like your proactiveness. But you need to make sure... If you waited like 5 seconds, the pillow would have been there. And maybe you would have used... Maybe you... you, you yeah, force bubbles first. If you can. And right here you could, because you had time. Do you see where the pillow is? But I like that you got high ground and you're thinking about minefielding next side. It was just, I don't know if you saw the Cassidy. I think it was just a couple of seconds too early, but it's not terrible. Make sure that when you minefield, you know where your team is and that they can use the space you're creating, because this is going to be a lot of space. The mine's going to be there at least. Trying to kill the Zarya because she's low, that is not bad, the E could have been better. Big slam. The Ripper killed everyone though. Oh, you're face tanking him. That it happens, the, kill the Reaper killed everyone. But look, imagine if you had mined 5 seconds later. Your team could have used the space. The Casa D might have died, the Zarya would have died early. Make sure that when you minefield, you minefield at the right time. But I like your proactivist. Now you know that they're gonna have a Reaper. So usually when they have a Reaper, he's gonna be hiding 
close into a corner, right? That's what Reaper does. So what you want to do, although you lose that one verse one, if you keep the right distance, mid to long range, your weapon is actually better than theirs. So you can force him out. The same happens when the Doom is set up to engage, or a Tracer is set up to engage, or, or a Reaper is set up to engage. If I look at the Reaper, the Reaper is going to keep like your team busy, right? In this case, he's keeping the Mora. Also, look where are you. Also, if you're doing with the Sombra, you want to just pick a target and kill them. But look how messy this is, right? There's no point on pushing there when there's two people here. We ball mains, we tend not to be aware of what's going on. The Reaper kills the Mora. So you're down one right now, right? Are you back up? Okay. I think you're gonna think about doing what I told you. The Reaper falls. See? You have a huge problem with the Reaper, so you gotta fix that. Okay, you go back. It does farm you if you're too close. This is good. This is really good. This is that's a good time engage. Do you see that? And you win that. That was a very good in time engage because the, the enemy team was right there. Your team was already pushing. They were about to collapse. That was a good engage, and because of that, you got a peek, as you can see. You did well shooting the Discord target. Nice, good job. You carry that. He, like, you only got two picks, but your momentum was well, three picks, so you carry. Again, that's a Reaper, you can force him down, maybe. Now you have Mines. You're scouting. I think this is gonna be a better timing, Mines. Yeah, that's a way better timing, Mines. Look, your team is right there. Perfect. See the difference? Well played. Good spin to win. Gotta react to the Ainon. You were hiding at least, that's good. They're, they're EMP'd, so go kill them. Three seconds, remember. Puncher to death, puncher. Oh, the reload cancel there. Yeah, it's lost already. Yeah, and your aim definitely needs a little bit of work. Okay, what what you could have done better here? This is good. You dodged the sleep here. You backed up. That's pretty good. You can kill the Kiriko Shinstan. He's out of the LOS, right? Which you do. This is the one, this is where it failed. Why does this rollout fail, right? What did you do wrong here? So this was good, until here. Came out of ball too fast. I think you just messed up the grapple. No, the grapple is not bad. This grapple should be able to kill Dana if you eat her, but... The monkey kind of booped you to the right side, so you didn't got a good angle. So I would say that was unfortunate. But here, you see that? You had a slam there. You could have slammed here. Do you know that the slam, you can be pressing it, and when you can do it, it will automatically do it. So imagine, if you're pressing slam right now... Once you get enough height, you don't need to tap it. You can just press it. And once the game detects that you got height enough. Because look, there was a second there that you got height enough. Right here. See that? You could slam here, but you didn't do it. But it happens. You also, I think if you don't get like body block kind of booped by the monkey, you would have been able to. Hey, it's could have punched her to death here, which you try. But she nade it, so... And now your team is dead, so now it... 
Right now, what I usually do is think about the C9. Your team is dead, but the pillow is really close to your objective. And I think you're gonna try that. Patan is covering, so... A lot of damage, you do well. You definitely are feeding away less this game. Like, you're not losing your, all your HP too much. And that's good. Oh, use the mega, nice. Monkey's going in. I think you tried to wall jump there, nice try. That's a Reaper. Not terrible, could have been better. You do want to make sure you slam with it. But the space is really good for it. I think you're gonna have to retouch here. This is like a macro thing, so you already lost the fight. I think you messed up a little bit further back. Here, you didn't connect well the engages. Because you keep bumping into these walls. And then obviously you feel the wall jump here. Look how much HP already lost because the Reaper got close. Also, where is Dash? The minefield is not terrible though, but right now you're down one, go to the Mega. Here you're just face tanking, you didn't know exactly where they were, but... You see, like, I feel like you wasted a lot of times with your role. Sometimes the hardest thing with Wrecking Ball is do the simple things. Scout, boop, slam. Again, the, the Eve was very weak again, was one person E. Now, what I was talking about. Notice, you already lost the fight. You lost the fight already. So, you're responsible as Wrecking Ball to touch last second, which I think you're gonna do then, which is really good. They use Bob, EMP. Ah... Uh, Okay, I think you're gonna win. I feel like when you, uh, on your one versus one, you have a hard time because your aim is not great. Like all those one versus ones against the Tracer, uh, the Tracer, Diana, you would have killed them if you just have a little bit better aim. But no bad. I think you did well touching last second. It was really good. Um. Usually, when you use Bob, you wanna force the slip, but. You guys EMP'd, but look how long it took to kill the Ana that was EMP 25% HP as Wrecking Ball. That Ana should be dead away sooner. I panic with aim. You gotta use the code Vaxter and just shoot people. Good aim with Wrecking Ball. Though Wrecking Ball is an ability user character, you, you need to look to use abilities more than no shooting. The aim is important to finish up cooldowns, to get the ulti charge, to, f to finish up kills, I mean, to force cooldowns. Okay, here you're scouting in the wrong place. Are you gonna contest someone high ground? You use your E, okay. Oh no, yeah, this is a big feat. You're gonna die here. So you just rushed in, you didn't scout. You gotta scout. And if you wanna hold this close, hold top left. Top left behind this thing here. That reload bullshit happens to me all the time. Yeah, I gotta calculate it. Remember that you reload automatically in ball form, so you can just use that time to scout. 
and set up to a better engage. Here, you wanna hold here. Well, you fed a lot because you didn't know where they were. Are you gonna go to the same target and the Sombra? Yeah, and you still... This was a little bit sloppy now. You're losing too much HP disengages. You look like you're doing a lot, but you're just feeding. Your team is dead, so you're not gonna win this. Just got the Mega. They also have Reaper Junker Queen, which is basically two shotguns. You keep feeding them so much. You're feeding them so much HP. Look at the Reaper ulti charge. That's most of it by shooting you. If you're losing a lot of HP, most likely it's because you're not scouting with ball, which means which means you're not thinking about how much damage they can do to you. And that's when Wrecking Ball... If you feel like you're doing a lot with Wrecking Ball, but you're not winning, it's probably because of that. That was a good deal. Like, those... See, that... that that was a rare good engage that you have with a good E slam, you know? It's good that you're using the payload. You kinda kept him kinda busy in a way. Dana is right there, so you should be shooting her. You have to reload. That. that was a good engage, you kept him busy. He's discarded. As Wrecking Ball, you want to shoot always the target. He was he was using Wraith, so you shouldn't be shooting him. Look, he's using Wraith. Why are you shooting him? And now you're in front of two shotguns. I was hoping you come out of it eventually. Yeah, but that's a lose-lose situation. If you want to do that, just don't shoot. Wait for it. You can see the end, like his body. You can just wait for him to come out instead of shooting. Oh no, you're going away. Why, why did you do this big rotation? Like right here, they're going to push into your team. First, there is a Kiriko there, half HP, that is healing the Reaper. So you could have just shoot the Kiriko, force the cleanse at least. And now you traded with the Junker Queen, which is pretty good. But now where are you going? You're pushing your team on payload. So you gotta contest that. This is the wrong time to go into their backline. That was a good engage though, that was a good engage. See, like, do that. Do that setup like you did there, but do it at the, at the beginning of the fight. When, when, not when the fight is already happening. And he's low. Okay. That was a bad time to use minefield. Why? Because you're down two coming out of spawn. You could have waited a little bit. I like your proactivus, but being proactive that doesn't mean being proactive doesn't mean you need to do off off timing ultimate. See right now, like what is that ulti for? They're not pushing, they're, they're two down. Again, it's just it's just like a five second difference, you know? Good proactiveness, but just a little bit too soon. Now you roll it down main, okay. Nice slam, that was a good engage. They're, they're rushing from the left side, I think you're gonna try to stop that. Nice, uh, that queen doesn't know how to play against a discord. 
That's something that you do well. I think you're seeing the Discord and you're shooting the Discord well. Okay, now th this is a perfect time to set up. You can also try to boop them there. That was a good time to set up, but the Bastion ulti, right? So what do you do when you hear your, your Bastion ulti? You hear your Bastion ulti? Okay, time to go in. No matter where they are. Because you want to be slamming. So it's harder for them to dodge the Bastion ulti. And you want to be booping them if you can slam. Right there, you heard it. So you had absolutely a lot of time to go and slam someone here. Or boop them in, see that? Damn, the Kiriko said, fuck it, I'm not gonna save Diana. <laughs> good combo. They're down one, so it's good tempo to push. Good help. This card too good. Again, you didn't react to the bob, right? What I told you. You see how the bob got slapped? As soon as you hear the bob, go tank the slip. This is good though. Good combo. Bob is a very reactionary hero and he's very mobile. So it allows him to react well since he's very mobile to ultimate. Like, you, you reacted to Queen ulti here, right? And you got Valley because you just shoot her. And now she's ulting, so you react to it too. You try. And now you hear the bob. What do you do when you hear the bob? You tank the sleep. That's all. You try to ult against is not bad. But now the bob is slept. Now the bob is not valuable. I'm not sure what that is for, but... Oh, the queen... The queen might rush into your back line. I saw her... Nice. The queen does not know how to play against Bastion and the Discord, so... You got the advantage, but that's a good reaction. Oh, you kind of messed up a little bit there. She's discarded, so you target her, well played. Mine's on point, and you win, I think. You got slap, you have time, you're half HP. Ah, you're full HP now. You can boop her in. No, oh, you miss. You, you missed your opportunity to boop her in. Yeah, not bad. You played decently, but I think the Zen and Bashing helped a lot. That combo, it's too deadly in low division. Because people just don't know how to play against it. But again, I think you still have things to work on. Remember your ease. Remember the timing of your ultimates. But you did well for forcing... Forcing. You did well some engages. Some ease were good. Your aim needs to be better. I think you shoot the Discord, which is pretty nice. I think it's important. Yeah, apart from that, good job.